welcome back to another craft time. My name is Miss Nicole and I'm a children's librarian with the Grundy Library. Today we have a fun winter themed activity planned for you. So gather your supplies, come join me and let's get crafting. All right, so for today's supplies, you're gonna need to print out the winter hat template onto a thicker piece of paper, preferably cardstock. You are going to need a white crayon. You're gonna need some liquid glue. You're gonna need some yarn, the color of your choice. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need a cup of water. And you are going to need a set of watercolors with a paintbrush. I'm using these Crayola set, very basic set here. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your white crayon and draw a design onto your winter hat. So here you can see me doing the ridges of the hat and then I'll be decorating the top half with some designs. And it's gonna be something you can sort of see, but what's really gonna make your design come up live is with the watercolors. So next you're gonna take your watercolor set and your cup of water. You're gonna use the water to wet in the paint and you can pick whatever color you'd like. I picked blue. And then you're just gonna paint over the design you drew and that's gonna show it appear on the hat. So it's really fun, really cool, kind of show like a magical mystery design come alive as you're using your watercolor paints. So feel free to continue painting using multiple colors if you'd like, I just stuck with one. And then once your design has been revealed and you've finished painting, you can take a piece of paper towel and pat it to kind of get some of the excess um, paint off and to kind of get a, a bit of like a texture. Mine didn't really work very well because my paint um, dried really quickly, but I did kind of work a little bit just to kind of give some extra texture. Next, you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna cut out your hat. So this is going to preferably be done after the paint has dried. I did this one right away, um, but it still worked. So it's really dependent upon your paint. Next, you're gonna create your pom-pom for the top of the hat. You're gonna take your yarn and wrap it around th your three fingers, probably about 30 to 40 times. Then you're gonna cut it. And then you're gonna use with the leftover string to wrap it around the center, just to kind of keep it together. Um, so you're gonna wrap it around the center like three or four times, just to kind of make that little bow shape you can see once I take it off my fingers. Then you're gonna take another piece of string and tie it down to create a knot so you want to make it nice and tight and then you're going to cut the excess off and then you're going to cut all the loops um, that you've created so that they are just sticking out now and then you're going to fluff it as best you can into a ball and then you're going to use your scissors to kind of shear it down and just kind of try to make it puffy into like a puffy pom-pom and that you're just going to keep working on it until you get it the way you like it and then we're going to take this pom-pom and we are going to use our liquid glue to glue it to the top of our hat. So you can see I'm still working on it. It's a bit of a process to kind of make it as fluffy as you can. There's gonna be a lot of mess here, but it's a great way to get your little ones practicing with scissors and cutting. And here I am brushing off the excess. Then I'm gonna be taking our liquid glue and gonna be gluing this. I like to hold the pom-pom down and I count it to 20 just to make sure it really stuck to the hat. And there you have it. That is our winter hat craft. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a lot of fun with me today putting together our winter snow hat. It's so cute. I really loved it. Um, and I had a lot of fun revealing the fun pattern I created and figuring out how to create a pom-pom on your own. So for more craft time fun activities like this one, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org or check out our social media pages. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you for our next craft time. Goodbye.